Hey everyone, welcome back to Here's an Idea, a minute and a half or so of marketing insight. I'm Hal Bryce. For years now, marketers have been struggling trying to figure out how to make their video content go viral, but it's not that easy, is it? I was listening to a TED talk from a guy from YouTube who monitors viral videos for them, and he said that it's interesting because a lot of videos just sort of percolate along, and then suddenly there's a trigger. Oftentimes that trigger is a tweet or a mention by a celebrity who has its own following. So, unless you have Justin Bieber or Jimmy Kimmel on retainer, how do the rest of us get our videos to go viral? Turns out there might be a top 10 list for that too. A lady up in the Bay Area named Karen Ching decided to make a video. Once she made it, she decided to make it go viral. And once that happened, she decided to write a blog post about what it took to make it go viral. So here's her top 10 ways to make your video go viral. Number one, Karen says, don't be too good for marketing. In other words, you gotta push things. They don't just go viral by themselves. Number two, understand how things go viral. After posting it on YouTube, she worked hard to make sure a lot of people saw it. She posted it on Facebook, on Twitter, asked her friends to repost it, put it on Reddit, Hacker News. She tweeted to well-known dancers. She emailed bloggers. And of everything she tried, she found that Reddit paid off. After the first day, she had about 80,000 views. By day three, she had 1.8 million views. Number three, she says, release it on Monday or Tuesday. Those are typically slower days. People have more time at work to watch the video. Number four, figure out who's got a stake in your video. She tagged everybody from the clothes she wore to the song to the place where she danced. Everybody got a mention and she asked them to all post it as well. Number five, important here, nothing matters if your video isn't good. You can send it to your friends to share, but it's not going to get passed around if it's not interesting content, right? Number six, tell a story. It went viral, this video, because it was a story about dancing and it was a story about achieving a dream. Number seven, one that I should pay attention to, make your video shorter. No one's going to sit there and watch a 10 minute video, so keep your video as short as possible without losing the essence of your story. Number eight, and this is super important, write a viral title, something that people are going to want to click on when they see it just in those few words, right? So she wrote some titles. Here's a bad one. My journey of dance, a year of movement, a better one. I learned to dance in a year. The best one she came up with, girl learns to dance in a year, time lapse. Which leads us to number nine, knowing what you're willing to compromise. She didn't want to refer to herself as a girl, but she knew that if she said girl, she'd get more hits than if she said woman. She said that if she would have said Asian girl, she would have even gotten way more hits, but she drew a line right there. Number 10, what do you do when your video does in fact go viral? Well, Karen says, whatever you do, figure out how you're gonna maximize the traffic, the exposure, the notoriety that the video has generated and do it quickly because that fame fades very, very fast. So the big takeaway here is it's not enough to create a great video. You've also got to work really hard to make sure that the right people see your video. I'm sure you've had great success. I hope you'll share them with us so that we in turn can share it with other people as well. That's Here's an Idea. I'm Hal Bryce. Is mine viral yet? What's up? Where, where are we on the counter?